Rapper 69. A lot of y'all know him, man, as the dude that, that ratted on his whole team. Took a lot of them dudes down for 15 plus years, 20 years, 10 years. All this stuff. He, he took a lot of his team down. Well, now when he got back involved with music, a lot of guys in the music industry still don't mess with him. Um, a lot of the platforms don't give him a chance to do, do, do promo runs and things like that when he dropping a new uh when he dropping a new single or something like that. Um, and so in return, he said he drops he only dropped four songs a year. You know what I'm saying? And he doing shows for five hundred thousand. So when you doing four show when you doing four songs a year, you know normally he will sizzle out here he um he won't be on Instagram and then he'll come out of nowhere beefing with somebody. So it's kind of like he do, and it's a very intelligent move, you know what I'm saying, actually. What he do is he use other rappers for promo. Usually you see guys, they run a radio, they do interviews, they do uh, stop runs, they do different places that they dot in, you know what I'm saying. When you're in L.A., you may do uh, No Jumper, you may do whatever the case may be. Then when you up north, you may do like a uh, million dollars worth of game and just all these different little platforms in which you see these guys got podcasts and different things like that. Uh, that's how they do their promo runs. Then you got radio, you got Breakfast Club, you got all these different different stations in which people stop at when they're trying to promote their album, trying to promote their single, trying to promote different things. I'm just speeding you up into how 6 9 moves and how he positions itself now. You see what I'm saying? So now, by him not having that, that major backing behind him, you see what I'm saying? He said nobody in the industry really mess with him and he don't care. Well, he, by him not having that real, real uh, extreme backing, what he do is he troll other rappers. You see him uh, with Meek Mill. Meek Mill was in his video. He popped up out of nowhere. They said he had a lot of security, but he just caught uh, Meek Mill on camera trolling back and forth with him. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, he caught Meek Mill in a, in, in a bad situation to where Meek Mill looked like a clown. You know what I'm saying? You talk about all the stuff you're going to do to him, what, what people need to do to racks and different things like that. And then when a man pop up on you and see you, you ain't prepared. So anytime you ain't on, anytime you ain't on offense and you're on defense, you always backpedaling and you look like a fool. A lot of guys, you know what I'm saying? That's why they say stay dangerous. That's why they say a lot of times they say um, um protect yourself at all times and stuff like boxing. And in the streets, they tell you stay dangerous. When they, you know what I'm you got to always be on offense so you don't never got to play defense. That's how uh, Meek Mill ended up all on this uh, video and just the laughing stock of what 6 9 was doing. Now, fast forward that to he channels that same energy to Lil Dirk and his team. When King Von passed and different things like that, he wore King Von on the shirt. You know what I'm saying? And just all these, and with Lil Reese, he talked about how Lil Reese, Reese uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, pooped on himself during a fight. You know, just all this, all this crazy antics that he run, and not just with those guys, among other guys. But we've seen it a lot more with Lil Durk because why? Lil Durk is number, Lil Durk is at the top of his game. You got Lil Baby, you got Lil Durk, you got those guys there of the new crowd who are on top of their game musically. You see what I'm saying? So, with that being said, if he can't get the promo from the radio, he go get the promo off the guys that the radio is promoting. It's very intelligent if you really think about it. Let's say if this guy, if I can't get the radio to promote my music, well, the radio seeming to be doing a lot of promoting of Lil Durk. So what I can do, I can come at Lil Durk and if he responds to me, Lil Durk and his team, if he responds to me, I got my own promo. You see what I'm saying? And that's why you see with dudes like uh, King Von and them that just said like, they didn't say no no more than everybody around the world was saying about 6 9 But 6 9 ain't coming to everybody around the world. He came at the ones that was in position into where he positions himself. And so when he drop his music, he can create a troll, like create his troll antics and he can get a whole lot of response back to his music. Now, fast forward to what I'm really getting at. As you see, uh, Lil Durk has lost his brother now. His brother lost his brother to a club called Club O and Harvey, if I'm not mistaken, in Chicago, right? Now this is what this is what six nine, uh, this is what six nine finds time to do what he always do at this point in the game, and that's just disrespect the dead. Um, people can't really blame me for disrespecting the dead because when you see dudes like Lil Durk and these guys, man, they talking about smoking dead ops and so on and so forth. Uh, and they just ain't stopping with the with the highs. Uh, high, she asked me how do I get. I told her highs duck. All that type of, you see what I'm saying? It don't stop. They smoking tuka, so on and so forth. All these guys that they was in beefs with, that they done actually made. Chicago drill music has made smoking a dead person pop. Well, you see Gucci say he's smoking Pookie Loke. All that, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that that that. The ops is dead, or even op that came from the Chicago music. You see what I'm saying? Um, or just different guys that you beefing with when they did. They somebody they smoking on that pack that came from Chicago guys. But at the end of the day, now it's like you standing over these dudes. They passed on, and um, it's like at this point, 
you like you antagonizing them, like you standing over them, and it's like that's when you see guys like Tuka Mama said, my son ain't, you know what I'm saying? My son was a was a human being, you know what I'm saying? He ain't no he ain't no strand of weed, basically. You see what I'm saying? So it's like in all seriousness, it's like, you know what I'm saying? You you standing over once you handle your business, Most anybody don't like, speak on it no more. You see what I'm saying? It's like, you know, um, you know, it's uh what's understood needs not to be explained almost. You see what I'm saying? And then not only that. If you really got to put that muscle together, uh, you don't want to be tied to it. You don't want to be tied to nothing. You just, as long as you know, whatever your situation was is over with, you can sleep at night and move on to the next if that's what you want to do or, or move on with life in general. So a lot of dudes ain't sitting around talking about smoking a pack and so on and so forth. That's something that Chicago brought to the masses. And, and, and in my opinion, it made things worse. It made all these young dudes want to be able to say they smoking on somebody. So what do they do when they feel like they want to smoke on somebody? They got they got to go walk down somebody that they don't like so they can say they smoking on that's the one they smoking on or so on and so forth. You see what I'm saying? So fast forward to six nine. Let's get into what we really here for. Six nine comes out and he tell he see that you know what I'm saying. If you guys ain't hip already, Lil Durk and Lil Baby just dropped a uh, a joint a joint uh, collaboration, a joint album or a mix a mixtape album. I don't know which one it is, but at the end of the day, they collaborated to create some some great music. You see what I'm saying? Um, at the end of the day, you got OTF, you got four PF. You know what I'm saying? So what they did, they they they, they brought them together and they made four TF. They made hats, they made merch. Uh, the, what is it? The some the voice of the heroes or whatever it is. So they selling. Uh, Lil Durk is selling sweaters. The voice of the heroes, right? On his page, you see six nine uh, go in the comment section and have some things to say about Lil Durk and him selling hoodies. And his brother has, has got you know what I'm saying lost his life. So when when you see this type of stuff, right? It just be like, man, that's the ultimate disrespect, right? You be like, man, at some point, you know what I'm saying? It's about business. It's about me coming at you. But but they say they they say respect the dead. You know what I'm saying? Um, me, I believe in respect the dead, but respect the living. You see, a lot of times guys respect a lot of these guys that has passed on. Um, but at the same time, they have no respect for the living. You see what I'm saying? Anytime you can disrespect back and forth for the guy that's living. And then go say you're going to respect the dead. That kind of don't correlate to me. At the end of the day, if you're going to respect the dead, respect the living. But make them respect you in return as well. Respect is to be given and respect is to re be received and respect is to be demanded. But at the same time, you can't keep saying respect the dead, but don't respect the living. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, long story short, you see 6 9 disrespect them. While so in return, it gets even worse when someone passes on, right? King Von, he took King Von after he passed and put him on his shirt and took a photo shoot of it. Now, 6ix9ine would never be doing nothing like this if he didn't have a massive amount of security that he had. Some people feel like he had the police behind him. Some people have feel like he has whatever the case may be. But my thing is this here. Um, you know, when you're up against a guy that's tied to the police or when you up against a guy that has a amount a, a month's amount of um uh security and police around him and so on and so forth it's best to just get your money you see what i'm saying one thing we know about money money unless you become a billionaire and, and i hope everybody become the utmost uh uh b best they can be financially you see what i'm saying but one thing we know about 6 9 you can't pay for security forever bro it's, it's highs and lows in music right now you can be trendy uh, two years from now, you can be a nobody in the game. You can't pay for security forever. And you got to still face these people that you disrespected. Um, the people that's deceased that they love. The people that they love. Um, the, I mean, the people that, that meant the most to them have passed on. And you disrespect them in an the ultimate way. Uh-oh, everything going to go full circle because follow me. 6 9 Eventually, you're going to have to see somebody that you done disrespected. That, the people that they love most that have deceased. Or the people that have died, passed on. Right? Eventually, we feel like you can't have money forever. You got to see them again, or they're gonna go, they're gonna start getting people that's close to you that you love. That's what we see, right? Spin that around on little dirt. You can only disrespect people that that people love to have deceased. Smoking tuka, smoking a high as duck. Smoke. You, you get what I'm saying? You can only do that for so long before it catches up to you. Either they get you or people that you love. And we're seeing time and time again 
When you put negativity in the world, negativity come back. They say live by the gun, die by the gun. When you say I'm smoking this, somebody gonna end up smoking somebody you know because that's just how the universe works. So everything that we saying about six nine, and we feel like eventually if the money run out, bro, that it can catch up to you. We, we gotta see the same thing in in a lot of the people that was around uh, Dirk and, and Dirk and the raps that he's saying and things like that. You seeing a lot of people around him because they can't get to Dirk right now. Dirk is the guy with the money. Dirk is the guy that's hard to reach. So what they do, they reach people close to you. Until they feel like the money's not really there no more and they can catch up to you. You see what I'm saying? So, long story short, to get back to 6 9 he goes his Insta story and he says this. He says something along the lines of, when will you slide? Your brother, your brother caught one to the head. Go slide. Man, it don't get no more disrespectful than what 6ix9ine have shown y'all time and time again. But what we do know, we don't know what deal Lil Durk done signed. We don't know what deal none of these dudes done signed because sometimes they can sign their life away. You see what I'm saying? And then the master put you in position to where it looked like he gave you some money or put you in position. But once you start losing everything, he know you'll crash out. Either you'll go slide at 6ix9ine try to antagonize you to do or you'll be humiliated for not doing it and you'll lose all your fans anyway. So it's like a lose-lose. You got to watch the game that the that the higher up and the master and these guys that put you in position, they put you in position to either sacrifice some people or they put you in position to um, put yourself in position to crash and burn. They put you in uh, dummy missions and crash courses throughout your whole career. And it's up to you to figure out how you're going to maneuver. But I ain't saying Lil Durk signed his life away. I'm just saying that you got to understand how these how these higher ups play it too. Their job is to make you generate and sell records by any means necessary. So even when you lose people, they make you put out more albums or not because they know you're going to either speak about some things or either be forced to go do some things or do it yourself and crash out. So in the comment section below, y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation with 6ix9ine and Lil Durk. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please turn on your post notifications. Please hit that like button and share this video. That's all I want to say.